Hello guys, welcome back to our channel CAC Concepts with Parinita. So in today's video, we are going to learn different types of division operators in Python. So the main two kinds of division operators that we use in Python is true division or flow division. Now true division is also known as normal division or division and flow division is known as flow division. Now true division is denoted by one slash and flow division is denoted by double slash now these two both the concepts are very important in python in today's video we are going to see how they work what are the different output if we use them with normal integer numbers with floating numbers with negative numbers with positive numbers we will see variations of examples in this video so that by the end of this video you will be clear with these two concepts that how it works and when we can use which of these operators okay so let's say we are doing true division now in true division you need to remember that no matter you are dividing a floating point value with a floating point value or an integer value with a floating point value or two integer values the result you will get will always be a float okay in case of true division or normal division let's say you are dividing 12 divided by 4 now the answer of this is 3 but in python true division it will give you the answer as 3.0 20 divided by 3 will give you 6.666 like this up to 7. Now, uh, you need to remember that when you are getting floating point, actual floating point in the output, it will always give you 16 digits after the decimal point. Okay. So, this is how it works. Now, if we talk about floor division. So, what happens in floor division? In floor division, the result is truncated down. So, the result is the floor integer value. So, whenever you are dividing two integers, if the answer is a floating point value, what it will do? It will take the floor value, right? It will take the floor value of that floating point and it will give you an integer as the answer. Now, if you do 12 divided by uh, 12 floor division 4, you, uh, you have seen that in normal division, 12 divided by 4 was giving us 3.0. But in case of floor division, 12 floor division 4 will give us the constant integer value 3. If we do 20 floor division 3, so 3 into 6 is 18, so you will get 6 point something, okay. You will be getting what? In this case, you will be getting 6 point something. You will be getting 6 point something. But what is told in this floor division? That the result is the floor integer value. So 6 point something, if we take its floor value, if we take its floor value 6 point something, it will give 6. Floor value means the integer value below that, right? So, 6 point something's floor value will give us 6. So, 20 floor division 3 will give you 6. Let's see some more examples. Now, yes, it can also be calculated as print math.floor 20 divided by 3. So, 20 floor division 3 the result of 20 floor division 3 is exactly the same as the result of math dot floor 20 divided by 3. Means we are doing the true division of these two numbers and whatever we are getting, we are finding out its floor value. Simple as that. So, this 20 floor value 3 is equivalent to this. Okay. In both the cases, you will be getting the answer as 6. Now, if either of the dividend or the divisor or both are floats, the result is a float. If both are integers, the result is an integer. So, if we talk about true, uh, sorry, if we talk about floor division, in case of floor division, if both are integers, the result is integer. But if both are float or either of them are float, then the result will be a floating value. So, let's say 10 floor division 5, it is 2. 10 Floor division 3, it will, uh, this division will give us 3 point something. So, the floor value we will get as output as 3. 10 floor division 3 will give us 3 point something. Then again, it will be converted as 3. But here, as 10.0 is in float, you will get the answer in the floating point value as 3.0. 10 div uh, floor division 3.0, again as it is float, you will get it as a float result 3.0. In this case, both are float, so the result is again in float. Here, 5.6 float division 2, it is in float, so the answer you will get is 2 point something, but it will be rounded as the floor value and you will get 2.0, fine. So, these are a couple of examples with these varieties, I hope it is clear to you. Now, one more variation that you need to know is negative numbers. 
how to deal with negative numbers in case of division or floor division in case of python so let's say if you do print 15 divided by 4 true division so 15 divided by 4 will give you 3.75 okay then next print minus 15 true division 4 in this case the result will be as it is only just because the first one is minus here you will get the answer in minus so minus 3.75 will be your output third 15 floor value floor, uh, 4 now uh, in this case, 4 into 4 is 16, 4 into 3 is 12. So, you will be getting 3 point something, what you will be getting? 3.75 actually. So, but as it is the floor value, it will round it up and it will take the floor value of 3.75. So, you will get the answer as 3 as integer, okay? You will get the output as 3. Now, if you do print minus 15 floor value 4. Now, what we are we getting? We were getting minus 3.75. But here it is floor value. So, minus the floor value of minus 3.75. The floor value of this value will be what? Minus 4. Many students uh, do mistake here. They will write minus 3. But no. Minus 3.75. The floor value is less than that. So, minus 4 is less than this. So, here the output you will get is minus 4. Similarly, minus 15 floor value 2. 2 into 7 is 14. So, you will be getting minus 7 point something. So, its floor value will be as the output that is minus 8. Minus 7 point something. So, it will give you minus 8. Fine. So, these are some of the variations. Do more practice. Then you will be clear about these things that how to deal with positive numbers, negative numbers, integers as well as floating numbers with division and true division. I hope you are clear with all these examples. In case you have still any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.